Hello, my friends. I'm Rich Larson, and I'm the IRC Tire Guy. Today, we are on to episode five of our 10-part progression series featuring Mark Ikeda and myself. This is designed for you guys to follow along weekly and guaranteed to help improve your skills by episode 10. Guaranteed, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is my favorite drill. The reason this is my favorite drill is because it looks so simple. Much like most of my drills. They look very, very easy. Uh, but the fact is, is most people have never tried them. This is a cone weave. We've got cones at about six feet apart, okay? Uh, that's usually about how wide I set them. And then as we get better, of course, we close them up. But most of the time, I will say, if you can get through these cones without dabbing, without knocking one over, without missing it, the lesson's free. But if you dab, knock over, miss one, you gotta pay me double. So as Mark is my boss, if he doesn't make it through first try, mm -hmm. and you wanna take the bet, you have to double my salary, my yearly salary. Yearly, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Ooh, I hope he takes the bet, because I guarantee he's not going to make it through first try. Look at me talking trash, but I like to get him fired up. Let's see how clutch Mark is. This is a very, very technical drill, okay? This is one of those things that it's that maximization of not only your balance, but your understanding of movement and position on the machine. We're also talking throttle clutch control and complete control of the bike. We use our brakes to slow the machine on the downhill. We use a lot of that actuation of clutch movement to catch our balance and just control the machine on the uphill. We wanna be able to do it both ways. This is a, this is a great drill to improve your skill. I, I, I suggest everybody goes and buys these $15 cones that last forever. These things have been ran over about a million times. And go out, find yourself a flat spot, and practice it. This is one of those things I always say, man, if you can't ride your bike completely, completely control your bike on flat ground, how can you expect to control it up in the hills, in the places where it matters, right? So this is that understanding right here. So I'll give you an example first to kind of show you how we go about getting through these cones. If my main buddy Romer would move, so once again, there's a lot that goes into this. We wanna focus on that controlled balance, centered point on the bike, and we're dragging that front brake as well as adding throttle at the same time. You can hear my bike, right? Steady, steady throttle, controlling that machine every time. Boom, I turn that bike fully to lock and I lean the bike, lean my knee, my op opposing knee out, right? So if I turn to the left, my right knee comes out. If I turn to the right, my left knee comes out. Now we're also trying to straighten that line out a little bit, right? We're trying to keep that rear tire as close as we can to that cone behind us. Now on the uphill, it's the same thing. We're focusing on that steady throttle, okay? very steady, right? We're also, you can hear, or you can see, I'm dragging that front the entire time. Straightening that line out, my knee comes out. I have control over this machine. I wanna be able to do it every single time without thinking about it, right? I can carry on a conversation with you if I want to, Mark. Nice and close each time. Focused on that balance, focused on that control. And then we do some wheelies, right? Look at that control. I mean, he's he's a he's got great control. Oops. <laughs> so I guess I'm making a lot of money now. Most of the time I just say that and nobody takes the bet. <laughs> But man, one day somebody will take the bet. And man, whew. your boy's rolling stacks right now, dude. Okay, so we've got a couple things that I want you to do. Um, the first thing is let's add a little bit of pace to our approach. Now, you're trying to copy me, 
you'll see, you see I'm going very, very slow. I'm really kind of controlling that balance. Well, you don't quite have that balance level yet. So when you're trying to maximize your slow pace, you're going slower than you have the, you know, it's slower than the ability that you have to balance. Does that make sense? So let's go as fast as we can, but still slow enough to maintain balance. Does that make sense? So we're trying to kind of maximize that control of the machine. The other thing I'm gonna say is straighten your line out a little more. When you're coming through this, instead of going after each turn way wide, think about trying to stay as close as you can to each cone. I would rather run, rerun the cone over than go so far out that the next one you're, you're, you're not able to make the turn, right? One more tip is aim your front tire for the front of the next cone and the next cone and the next cone, okay? So instead of driving through right here at the halfway point, we're aiming our front closer to the front of each cone. Not bad, we've doubled it. Now, if you notice there, he was idling. You're idling on the downhill, I want you to add a little throttle. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Keep it steady. Actuate movement with your clutch, okay? right tips, two tries, right? It's just an understanding of what needs to be done. That's all it takes. A lot of times it's just that understanding, that little bit of extra to be able to say, okay, I need to adjust a few things. I need to go a little wider. I need to go, or sorry, I need to go a little deeper on each turn. I need to hold a steady pace. I need to center myself, try to focus on straightening that line out. All of those things make a huge difference. Now we got uphill. Here we go. This is going to be much harder. There we go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You can see there, it's all about Uphill, uphill's hard because we have to hold steady throttle and control that clutch. Okay, we're now understanding that downhill, we have the help of gravity. We have the clutch in, we're just kind of coasting through. Whereas now we've added in that extra level of control, that extra ability to be able to hold it steady here and actuate our balance movement with our clutch, right? So again, this is one of those things that's, you have to try this every single way. And just because you can do it downhill, doesn't mean you're gonna get it uphill. Uphill's much harder. And then we can even take it to the next level, put it on a side hill. You want a real challenge. If you guys want a real challenge, put it on a side hill. I want you to think even a little more steady pace. Steady. You, you need to go almost so fast that you're, you're rushing each turn, okay? Because again, you don't quite have the balance that I have. So we don't wanna be fighting our balance when we're trying to learn how to do this. First, we learn how to do it, and then we kind of slowly work that pace back, 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 back. Do it again. But this time, we're gonna back the pace off just a little bit. A little, a little slower, slower every, every single, single time. time. Okay, how, how you feeling? feeling? Not confident. A lot of staring from Mark. Not confident. Just a quiet, not confident. There you go. Way to catch that balance. That's much better. Better. You're getting better every time. Very good. Okay, now I have one more little addition that I like to make onto this cone drill. As I was saying earlier, practice it uphill, downhill, side hill. Side hill is so challenging. But I like to add a little bit to this to make it a little more challenging. So you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here. Cones are in the same place. 
we've added a little turn to the game. So we're gonna start on the right side of the first cone. Nice and smooth. The reason we start on the right side is I did the math. It's not math. <laughs> did the uh, observation and we need to be going to the outside of this cone, right? So now notice here, I go wide. And I lean that bike, oh boy. We wanna be to the inside of this cone. This is a very challenging, challenging extra part of the drill. Now, we can go a little wider there. I'll just kinda of show you what I mean by that. As we cruise through these cones, controlled there. Mark, notice how I'm lean in that machine. Now, I'm gonna hug this one as close as I can. Look at where I go, out here, right? Now, we lean that thing. Nice and close. You didn't make it first try. You're asking well, me I wanted to, to show you the example of how not to do it. Do you believe me? No. <laughs> so Are if you, you notice there, like... I just went extra wide, okay? We're gonna get it, I, I promise. That thing turns way better than mine. Towards me, towards me, towards me. Back. Full turn, full turn, full turn. There you go. Right here, keep going, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Right here, right here. Set it up, you got it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Better. There you go. There you go. Out here. Out here. You're good. Come back towards me. There you go. Beautiful hinging. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, good save. Focus up, focus up, focus up. Back. Not bad. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Not too bad. He missed one, but... You can see, add a little bit of cones to it, man. A little bit of change, man, it makes it challenging. All right, as you can see, that was challenging, right? Yes, it was. Turns out it's really hard. Yes. And we add these little tiny things, and it ends up making it so much more challenging because it takes your mind off yes. what you're supposed to be doing and you revert back to bad habits, right? right? So again, truthfully, you're above average with your balance and your control of the bike. Now, that being said, even above average, it's still extremely, extremely challenging. Yeah. And, you know, we've worked on skills along the way, clutch control, balance, just understanding that point of your bike to be able to move your body in the correct position. And it's assisted you quite a bit along the way. Yeah, big time. Yeah. You've made huge yeah. strides forward, big which is time. awesome. Now, as we move forward, you're gonna feel these strides. You can literally come out and do one day of proper drills, and you'll feel it immensely by the end of the day. And we can see it in your riding, which is really rad. You feeling it? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, slow to the ground. <laughs> so really, really, really solid, solid job. You're doing great. We're going to move on. Now, next week, you guys, uh, make sure you're following along every week. Work in these drills along with Mark. Feel the improvements that he's feeling. Next week, we have full lock turns. So you got a little taste of full lock turns when we added in the right-handed cone weave, right? You get a taste of that ability to tip the bike and lean it over. We're really gonna hammer on that and you're gonna learn how challenging it is and uh, see what we can do to make some improvements. And again, that understanding of balance and control of your machine, it's gonna be a good one. Make sure you guys are following along with the lessons. Man, we're already five through, five weeks through it. Next week's gonna be a good one. I, uh, I really believe in these drills and I believe in the ability for these drills to help you guys and just working that progression. I wanna see everybody progress. And uh, man, I love doing this. I love teaching. It's a lot of fun. So good job, Mark. I'm pumped about it. Make sure you guys are following. And until next time, keep shredding.